Okay, 15, 29, good luck. So we've not played before, no head type score. Opponent, 450 games. Now that's kind of an invitation to switch to a Caro, isn't it? I don't want to do that. It's kind of an invitation to switch up, but what am I? I'm just approaching 800. Oh, I've just gone through 800, actually. Just done 800. Mm, what do I want to do? I'm just going to play my normal setup. Slow, steady. Try and get castled and then worry about what to do. Stick to principles, even if they do go wrong sometimes. Okay, so we get castle nice and quick. He might play a move like queen over to come down, I guess. Okay, what do I want to do? I'm going to take a risk and gambit a pawn. It does give him a chance to come forward. I'm going to gambit a pawn here. He might prefer us to take and get his nice pawn structure, but otherwise we'll just develop. Oh, he's gone very aggressive. Very aggressive, okay. Hmm. I think it's correct to take out over if I remember. I might be getting my theory wrong here, but I think it's correct to take out over in this position. But I might be getting my theory wrong there. If he takes here, we can just check and collect. And I'm just going to still try and get my knight up. It depends if he's going to take back or try and push on and gain space, which he might do. I mean, right now, though, I guess I could just simply take here. Probably go with a knight, I guess. But again, if we can get our knight up to challenge, he might end up with a nice loaded pawn. Um, so the bishop does come up. Yeah, I'm going to take here as well, just so I don't lose that pawn for free, forgetting about it. So how does he capture back? So you've got three ways. That's if he captures back. Doesn't have to, of course. He does go with the queen, so happy to play an endgame, which I'm happy to do. Knight up is probably logical, but is there something better? Like check. If you play knight up, we might have a, a move like knight forward. And if queen takes, we take. You take, we take here. King comes up. here knight goes here we've got a development move with the rook but can you attack this pawn i don't see it so it feels like check is the right move and say here rook across i guess he just goes back but i might have to move the knight first but i can do this kind of, i'm going to throw the check in just to see if i've got some sort of trick to put pressure on the diagonal i just don't want to collapse my king's defenses I mean, he could go back with the queen, I guess. He could just simply go back with the queen. But it's just kind of the same as trading there anyway. So he wants to play an end game, which should be okay for us. It should be, but is there a good way to do it or not? It feels like there should be something here. I'm going to risk keeping the queen on the board. I'm looking for a move like knight across to hit the bishop. Just hope I don't get my queen trapped. It does happen. And then just try and go for develop moves. Get my knight into play. Worry about where the bishop's going to go. But then a move like knight up is potentially very strong now. We hit the queen. We pressure the pawn with the bishop. So it's potentially strong. But I'd rather go here and hit the bishop and the queen at the same time. Maybe get rid of it. So he really wants to trade everything off. Now, what about knight forward here? Or even queen up here? Queen up looks strong. Then he might have to castle. Then I've still got knight across. Knight up now. He could take, but we take with a check. So knight up he can't take. And if the queen moves, can we come back with a check this way? The knight up might be the right move. I don't want to blunder it. So I'm going to go forward and hit the pawn. Knight across looks nice here. Because we're creating lots of threats as long as we're not blundering something silly. But in principle, I'm quite happy to play end games with everybody. So usually I'd be quite happy to trade the queen. And it could be the right thing to do. We'll find out after the game when we review it. 
But if he castles, I think knight d4 or knight h4 are the two moves I'm mainly looking at. Then knight takes bishop on f5, and if we trade everything, the bishop can hit b7, depending on where his queen ends up. So that's the concept I'm looking at. He might have something more adventurous here, like knight e4, then just sack the pawn, but he's got to get his king safe somewhere. But he might have something adventurous, but if we've missed things, we can drop the queen back. Queen e3 or d2. The rook guards the bishop as well, if the queen wanders off. I think for black castling or bishop to g6 are the two candidate moves and he has indeed castled but that does allow knight here so the idea is we hit the queen and the bishop but the bishop also hits the pawn so that's what I'm looking at now I've got knight here as well to hit the queen and the bishop it's just whether the knight's better here or here where it's actually guarded but in the center of the board it feels more effective because you hit the queen and the bishop with two pieces here so it's got to be the right move, surely. I might be missing something. If I am, I am, but that's chess, isn't it? But we create a double attack on the queen. We hit the bishop. So say a queen forward. We can take, queen takes, take, pawn takes, then bishop takes here. Something like that. That sort of concept is what I'm looking at. Or maybe queen down take and he just simply plays pawn takes, but we still got bishop in. Wait, so he's gone for a counterpunch. Okay. He's gone for a counterpunch, attacking my queen. So gain a queen, lose a queen. Gain a knight, and I still attack his knight. So gain a queen, lose a queen. But we're actually attacking this as well. So we can gain the knight, or we can gain this knight, lose this one. It's got to be right to take, I think. Gain a queen, lose a queen, and just simply take the knight, and then we attack this as well. If he moves the knight anywhere, I mean, there's only really one square to go to, then we can get our knight back potentially, although it could still be trapped. It might be nothing, but it looks sensible to me. Check here. I don't think it gives us anything, so I'm just going to take. Just take the knight, try and play simple chess. Now, what he shouldn't do is just quickly take back because he loses this one. Oh, he has. So that allows us to win this knight. So we're suddenly a piece up. Now we can get into play here. I think he had to not take there. So what do I want to do? Here just encourages this. So I'm going to drop back here to hit the pawn. But all I'm really trying to do is get my knight into play. be interesting to check that back after the game to see if there was any, any tricks there and it was still a balanced position. And there's still a lot of work needed to convert it, of course. But now the queen's off, there's less risk. So we can try and activate our rooks. So let's get the first one forward. Try and get forward or double up somehow. Maybe bishop up is a good move and trying to move this bishop. Oh, I've got bishop here. Oh, well, he's taken. Okay. He's taken. Oh, is he going to go quick now? Maybe. I don't want to go on the light square because of it, bishop. So I'm going to chuck a pawn at the board and see if I can plant my bishop on a safe square. So he's come across to attack this pawn, but I can defend that. So I'm going to guard it for a move. I'm trying to go here, this sort of concept. I'll do that and trade then, but I can't go here right now, so I need to deal with this bishop. So that means this needs to move, so what do we do? Hmm. I'm looking at this and this, but that feels slow. I think I need to get my rook forward. So I'm going to go here, make sure I'm on a dark square, and try and come behind. 
I've got a bishop check as well, but I'm not sure it does a lot right now. My bishop guards my rook, so I'm okay to trade if he was to push. So that's still protected. As long as I don't blunder the back rank, I should be fine. But amateur games are never over till they're actually over. Now, rook across is the move I was looking at, and that seems playable. Rook over, we can maybe double here. We could throw a check in. But that seems like the move to me. That's the move I wanted to play. And I'll just try and activate this rook as well. I could throw a check in first at some point, but I want to get my rooks forward if I can. He might go here and trade. He might do. But I need to be able to challenge this pawn. So how do we do it? Yeah, bishop check. If I trade the bishops off, it's easier to play. Well, he's gone there and stopped that. Fair enough. But I can take the pawn now. So his idea might be to come here, but it actually allows bishop check and I can get the bishop off. He might have missed that. And that should be good enough to settle the game if he comes in. Yeah, he just missed that. So now the bishop's off the board and we've got the extra pawn as well. Five against four. We're up a bishop and a pawn. So just run the pawn up the board. It should be good enough if we can make it work eventually. Or we can try and go for this seventh rank. That's the other concept. So that's what I'm going to aim for now, actually. I don't see an easy way to guard. I've got bishop here and it'll free my rook up and I can just get forward. So he's gone there. So I'm going to simply drop the bishop back and then try and release my rook and go for that seventh rank. My king's got an emergency square. So it should be good. But you can still do a mouth slip. Anything can go wrong. But yeah, it'd be interesting to see after the game if there was some sort of sequence there. Right, I'm just going to go forward. If he wanders forward, it's actually a back rank mate threat. But otherwise, I'm just looking at this 7th rank attack. Not easy to defend. Okay, he stepped up. So we'll just go forward for that. My king's got a square. Rook down and my bishop is protected until I go here, of course. Okay, so there must be a checkmate somewhere here, but how do we make it happen? I can go here as well. Here, here, check, here, other rook, here. I need the bishop in. It's not in right now. So I'm going to play forward, I think. Um, actually, let's bring the king up first. I'm trying to do this, but I want to actually get the bishop in. I just want to make sure I don't collapse and risk the background mate of my own. So I think h4 is what I'm looking at to deflect this pawn. He should just let me take. And it's not easy to get my bishop forward. And without the bishop forward, there might not be a checkmate threat. And But he has to keep a rook back to stop it. So maybe just rook across as well to try and deal with this annoyance and just run the pawn. We've got plans. That's the important thing, even if they take a while. As there's not much black can do. He's very bogged down. He's cut off that idea, so that's a good move. Okay, so I think I go back to this plan then. If he takes here, I'll just ignore it and take here. If he takes, I'll just take back this way. Okay, so he's dropped back, so he has let me take, which is correct, I think. Don't see quite how to get this bishop in the mate threat. So what about just here? Let's risk it and play f4. I mean, I'm up a minute on the clock, but it's still time can still vanish quick. It's amazing where time can go when you get engrossed in a position. I'll pre-move in case he takes either way. He probably won't, but you never know. I just don't want to blunder something really careless. Now here takes, I can take back. Rook takes, the idea is say bishop up. Or we throw the check in first and see where he ends up. Okay, so he's come forward. So I assume I just want to counter that to free my bishop. And I don't want this pawn pushing to free his rook. That's what I've got to be careful of. You know, if you blunder some sort of silly checkmate because you're pressing too much and you don't use your time wisely. Okay, so he's come forward, but now I'm okay to take. He'll take here. Now what I have to figure out is where do I want my rook? So here, 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 here. There must be a nice square for the bishop. I've got this as well. Or do I go here first? Does it matter? I've got this as well to hit the rook and the pawn. So here, rook down. I guess I just come across. 
But then Rook across, I mean, I can still block. Check if he goes this way, I can come here and it's a mate in one threat. Yeah, let's throw the check in first, then we stop him checking us here. Gotta be careful though, because if my other Rook gets deflected, I could lose one of them. So you still gotta be a bit careful. If he goes to the corner, I think I stack both Rooks and then Bishop up, threatening a discovery. So I can do that here now as well. But it doesn't actually necessarily create a knockout blow, does it? Hmm. Feels dangerous, so I'm going to line it up because it feels dangerous. Okay, that's just checkmate, isn't it? Yeah, he just stepped across, but it actually creates checkmate. But it was an interesting game. Let's see what it was in engine speak, if it was actually a genuinely free piece. So let's just see and see how it was, or if there was a good defense there. So we've got 41 moves. So they're the move times for both players there. So we'll request an analysis. We are white for this game, but if you need to flip the board, just press menu and flip the board, like if you're importing a game in or something. So it was a relatively comfortable game, but it's, where did we get the edge? Yeah, we have messed up a little bit here. Plus, yeah, we've lost three, plus 4.7 to 1.7. So we've played it very well here, then we've made a mistake. It's not flagged a blunder. It said 93% versus 86% accuracy, CPL 23 and 47. So let's have a quick flick through. So we've gained an advantage on move 12, and we've gone wrong on move 13 and 14 a bit, it looks like. So let's see. We're just trying to stick to good principles. I'm sure from memory, I'm just going from memory here, but I think in this position, taking out over is the right move, but it probably, it may not matter either way. So check was okay. Keeping the queen on is okay. Right, so now we've reached this point. So what you should do here is instead of knight forward, you should drop the queen back. So did we play it okay? No, we should not have taken the queen. We should have taken the bishop. So gain a bishop, lose a queen, gain a queen this way. And then if you lose, we can take back. So we must have made a mistake here with this sequence and he would have been able to trap our knight, I'm guessing. So the correct line was to take the... Um, take the bishop so this is the line and then queen takes so that's what the engine suggests there so rather than knight takes obviously we'd still have take here if you take us back we could take here so it's the same sort of concept but we've probably gone wrong knight takes knight takes b8 yeah it's a mistake we should have dropped our knight back i don't quite see why it's a mistake but the engine prefers knight back mm. Okay. Oh, so this is the line. So the engine says you need to play knight check. And we don't take there. If you take back, you're actually attacking our rook. So if we drop back, you're going to win the rook. And then you might get rook across hitting the bishop. So it's, it's one of them lines we could have actually gone wrong. But with this move, we're suddenly better, plus five. And that's better for the rest of the game than it was then just a case of trying to convert without messing up so we'll just flick through this but yeah it was one of them sequences we slightly misplayed it so on another day it could have affected the result but in this position i was just trying to get that seventh rank and then find a way to get to the king then e4 here is given as a final blunder it's now a forced mate it says in 11 now it's a mate in 10 so that move was good now nine so that was good now it's a mate in five, now three, now two, and now one. I'm not sure there's much else you can do in this position. Because mm, yeah, we're just threatening a check here, but there must be something better that we're threatening. Like, um, what happens if you make just a random move, like say a rook here? Oh, we just simply drop back. Does it matter where you go to? Of course, because you just, um, the king can't come this way. You have to go this way, then it's mate next move. So check, across, and then checkmate like that. So it's just a simple false sequence, as long as you see it whilst you're playing in real time. So it was a good win, but a decent effort by my opponent. Wonder if he'd have spotted and figured out that sequence there, it could have been a different game. It's only plus 1.7. So a little bit of good luck as well, so very good.